One of the metabolic hormones that people are most interested in is leptin. Now, when you think about leptin, people often only think about the satiety effect. Leptin has an effect on the brain to tell the brain that we're full or that we don't need to eat as much. However, leptin does far more than that, including impacting mitochondrial biogenesis, including impacting something like fertility. With regards to fertility, it may be no surprise to you that women tend to have naturally higher levels of leptin. Now, in part, this isn't overly surprising. Women tend to have higher body fat levels, and fat is the main site of production of leptin. So no surprise that more fat would equal more leptin. However, it goes a little further than that when it comes to the endocrinology of leptin regulation in females. Because in women, there are two additional signals that affect leptin production that you don't see that is relevant in men. Estrogens, or the main estrogen, estradiol to be precise, and cortisol, one of the famous stress hormones that's often vilified unfairly in many instances. Even still, in women, in addition to just more fat cells producing more leptin, higher estrogen levels, or estradiol, is also stimulating more leptin, and so is any given amount of cortisol. This is just further evidence of the slightly more complicated endocrinology that we see in females versus males.